I get to work with young people creating drama, theatre, helping them create drama and theatre. Helping them grow in confidence, explore their creativity, uh, develop incredible teamwork skills, leadership skills, and I get to do it here um, in the middle of you know fantastic um, Scottish countryside. Um, producing theatre, helping young people develop and grow either on stage um, as a performer, um, as a singer, as a dancer, as an actor, but off stage as well. If you're going to go on stage as an ensemble and perform, they're going to have the confidence to do that um, in front of each other and in front of an audience. Then they have to trust each other and, and work together. I'm proud of the fact that we have sent some people to drama school. Yes, that's great. But I'm also probably as proud, if not more proud, of the fact that huge numbers ask and try to become involved in our productions and will go on maybe to do some drama at university and maybe in life, but not professionally. And that's, that's not really the point of drama here. What we do here is give them a fantastic opportunity to be brave, to be silly, to learn, to grow, to build in their confidence as people, as creative, as leaders, and, and yes, they may only do one or two big shows in their time here, but I think they're probably times they'll always remember. We took a show, a brand new show, in fact, the world premiere of Everest Calling, uh, up to the Edinburgh Festival, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. By being involved in the Edinburgh Festival um, as performers and being there for a whole week, uh, it deepened their understanding and enjoyment of the incredible experience that is the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. A few years ago we did a production of Journey's End set in the trenches of World War I and that was a small group of young men, particularly in that cast, um, who really took ownership of this intense play that looks at what it was like to be a young man suddenly taken from a, an environment like here at Glen Armand and thrust into the World War I conflict, into the trenches. And we decided to perform it during Remembrance Sunday week. And during the build-up to that performance, not only did the incredibly talented bunch of young men really grasp and take on the characters they had researched and looked into. Their research had included researching into the lives of some of the young men from Glen Armand who had also gone out and lost their lives. And particularly as we are now in that four-year anniversary of the 100-year anniversary of 1914 to 1918 conflict. Um, during that week, they decided to lead a whole school assembly in our chapel about the play and give the school who are about to come and see it some context. And their ideas included giving the 140 odd pupils a piece of paper out of the 400 that were going into the chapel, a piece of paper. And they talked about the play, they talked about the context, about the old Glen Armands who had lost their lives. And at, at, towards the end, they asked the 140 odd pupils who had a piece of paper to stand up and slowly leave and the rest of the school waited and they were symbolic of the individual OGs who had lost their lives during the war. When we came to perform Journey's End that week, the atmosphere was just incredible. It's quite a tough play, not much happened. It's a bunch of young men trapped inside a dugout and yet for me it's probably one of the most intense and memorable theatrical experiences I'll ever have.